A Prayer for the Anxious Heart by Emily Rose Massey, read by Leah Martin. Don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 Growing up, I learned very early on that not much in my life would stay consistent, and that the pattern of my life would include a lot of change, and sometimes drastic change. It didn't take long for a heart of anxiety to be formed in my life, because there wasn't much in my life that I could run to for security. As I got older, I ran toward other things, other people, trying to fill a void in my heart only God could fill. As a result, I was constantly anxious and depressed. But after I graduated from college, my eyes were truly opened to my selfish existence and my deep desire to find something firm and secure. I realized God was the security and peace I was searching for, even in the midst of change. Change is just a part of life. How we handle that change is where we'll discover where our hope and sense of security lies. So if change is causing you to worry or stress out, you needn't run to other things or people to try to fix your anxiousness. You'll always be disappointed, left feeling empty and even more anxious. You must run to God. Philippians 4.6 tells us that we must not allow anxiety to overwhelm us, but instead we're to come to God in prayer and cry out to Him with our requests, full of a thankful heart, knowing He hears us. Let's read that part of our verse again. Don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Nothing is too small when it comes to our prayers to God. He wants us to come to Him about everything. God not only hears our prayers, He responds with giving us His peace and protection, which is why Philippians 4-7 continues with, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God's peace is like nothing else this world can offer. It's beyond all human logic or reasoning. He promises to protect our hearts and minds when we dwell on our position in Jesus as forgiven children of God. He is not only the creator and sustainer of life, but He's our Heavenly Father who longs to protect and provide for us. When you're anxious, Do you find yourself looking to other things or people to calm your heart? We must learn to run to the throne of God first and ask for His peace to invade your troubled heart when we're faced with changes in life that bring about unknowns and uncertainties. The Lord is faithful to bring peace that will carry us through the storms of life when we're tempted to worry and live in fear. Let's pray. Father, my heart is full of anxiety. Things feel so out of my control. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but I know you are the author of my future. I trust you hold my life in your hands. Help me to grow in that trust when I'm tempted to fear the unknown. Holy Spirit, remind me to cry out to God when I'm scared, instead of looking to other things or people to distract myself from the worry. Like Scripture encourages us to do, I cast all my anxieties upon you, Lord, knowing that you care for me. You're a good Father. It longs to provide for my needs, both physical and emotional. I remind my heart 
right now to remain thankful. You hear every request and every cry. I continue to cry out for help. I lift my eyes to heaven and fix my gaze upon my ever-present help in time of need. Lord, thank you for being a constant in my life. Thank you for being my solid rock when everything around me seems to be shaking. I choose to rest in your peace, a promise that you are faithful to keep. In Jesus' name, amen.